We're here today with Christine McCarroll, uh, who is a functional nutritionist with Taproot. That's the name of her organization. And uh, fascinating. Take a look at her website. Check her out. But I want to ask her about some fairly common, I guess you call them diseases that we see here, especially in the United States. Um, so, Christine, have you dealt ever with someone, say, uh, anymore you see a lot of people with what we call prediabetes. Mm -hmm. They may not even show a lot of weight, but they have elevated blood sugars. Right. So their blood is showing an early marker even if their physical body isn't already displaying it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they may even be on a medication to help with the blood sugars. Now, using functional nutrition, have you been able to um, see those blood markers change or their sugars come into a normal range even yeah. without medication? Yeah, absolutely. Great. Um, Can you tell me how you approach that? So, you know, I the first thing I always do when someone comes in or one of the first things I have them take an online questionnaire, nutritional assessment questionnaire, we identify where is the biggest burden in their body. And almost invariably, the biggest burdens are sugar handling and digestion. Mm -hmm. So if I see those, then I start to dig in a little bit deeper in my initial consultation and find out how they're feeling and if they're having the highs and lows and the, you know, the sugar crashes. Um, and if that's the case, that's often a first stop for them. Um, so then we start to figure out what foods work for them, um, how to balance their food so that they're not on the blood sugar roller coaster. Because what happens to a lot of people is they eat something even that they think is healthy, even that may not have added sugar, but is turning to sugar in their body. Then they get really high blood sugar, and then within a couple hours they crash. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when we see, you know, there's that funny, the funny Snickers commercials of you come and become the diva, and of course they're handing you <laughs> yes. the sugar, which yes. is not the answer to that problem. <laughs> but I do know what you're saying. <laughs> yes. So when you become the sugar diva because your blood sugar is so low, um, then you then you go make, maybe make that poor choice with a Snickers bar, and you get back on the roller coaster, and you go back really high, and your energy and emotions tend to follow that same roller coaster. So the first thing I do is say, okay, we're going to you know, uh, work on foods that work to moderate your blood sugar. Um, depending on where they are, if they have high or low blood sugar, we may be eating more frequently. That's not something I usually recommend for everyone all the time, but that may be a short, uh, short term solution. Until their body heals. Until their body because heals. Because yeah. too low is also it's not a problem. No. Hypoglycemia is also a problem. And again, that's still just a, it's, it's not paying attention to your functional nutrition. Right. Yeah. And how, how, how is your body functioning? What's the body saying? Yeah. Educating. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Interesting. Um, In fact, I've heard that a lot of uh, times people who are hypoglycemic, that's an early indicator for prediabetes later because so, you've worn out the pancreas. Yeah. So you kind of, you go on this, um, you know, kind of a continuum and a lot of people start with hypoglycemia mm -hmm. and then you end up in insulin resistance, which the CDC actually estimates one in three people already has insulin resistance. Oh, that's we just, we're walking around, we don't even know it. Don't even know. Have no idea. Um, What's an early marker for that? How would I know I'm insulin? Resistance. You may not. You know, I when it's I a, you actually have you to do have need to do work. some blood work. And when I work with people, the standard test is just your fasting glucose, and that's helpful. That's one marker. I like to see a fasting insulin level as well, because sometimes your blood sugar looks normal, but what's happening is your body is working overtime to, to keep, keep it. it there. And, that and if we actually that? looked at yep, if we actually looked at your insulin, we would see that your your body is killing itself trying to stay moderated. So wow. we need to look at both markers. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So what kind of outcomes have, have you seen with some of them? You, you, so you do that first? I do test. that first, yeah. And so um, I, you know, I like to see both of those. I do sometimes have people take their, you know, do the finger prick test. You can get a kit over the counter, you mm -hmm. know, Walgreens. Um, and so we monitor that way. And I can see how they're doing throughout the day in relation to what they're eating. Um, I've absolutely had people, you know, come either reduce their medication or not have a need for medication anymore. So I actually do recommend people are in touch with their physician because if you reduce your need for medication, it's really critical that you're in touch with your physician for that. Um, but, you know, people can absolutely bring their blood sugar back into normal range um, from being really high, from, you know, being diabetic into a more um, balanced state. That's wonderful. So you partner with them all along that journey, it sounds mm -hmm. like. Yep. Given feedback daily, or so yeah, do they so do I, an online relationship with you to kind of keep you updated. Mm -hmm. I I usually meet with people every two or three weeks, either in person or on the phone. But I also use an app where we, I'm keeping in touch. I'm checking in with their food journals, um, and they can send me questions as they go. You know, I'm really stuck. I need help, and then I help them through whatever they're going through. That's wonderful. Wow, one in three. I think you have a big client list waiting for you. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks. Appreciate that information on. Basically, how to overcome high blood sugar. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you.